good with y'all family it's your boy and mine I'm, I'm gonna keep it real this ain't a reaction video this is a video of me venting to y'all man trying to get a message out to y'all man we're gonna get to that after this one to our regularly scheduled program but this is to all the drake stands and really all the stands all over the world man the eminem stands yeah y'all too y'all come sit down kanye stands even Kendrick lamar stands j cole stands y'all too to all the stands all over the world i don't give a fuck who you is man come sit down real quick i gotta talk to y'all real quick man this really towards the drake stands i ain't gonna lie but this is everybody bro so everybody heard the nuclear the napalm the hydrogen the bomb kendrick dropped on drake right two days ago everybody loved it we over here my channel i love that track that's one of the best diss tracks i heard in a very long time perfect diss track how technical he was how witty he was the beat all the triple line times like the draco line the six cents line the push the t line. i didn't even catch that in the video the pharrell push the p push the t terrorist man dope ass diss track man everybody loved it y'all been seeing other reactors everybody loved it as well man but it's one particular group and this is who i gotta speak to the drake stands they felt like that shit was trash i've been getting so much hate in my dms in my comments and i've been seeing other reactors too as well in the comments saying we dick suck we dick rhyme we biased the track was trash hey bro let me talk to y'all real quick man and this is to all the stands like i said bro Learn how to tilt your hat to somebody, to the opposition, whatever you want to call it, the other side, and say, hey, bro, you did that, bro. Because not only you missing out on appreciating or just the moment we at in hip-hop, this is exciting times, bro. You missing out, bro, for you being so fucking biased, bro. Now, you ain't got to like the track, bro, because I know there's a lot of people that I know personally or people online that tell me they don't really like Kendrick Lamar voice or really don't like Kendrick. Really because of his voice. I can understand that, bro. But I'm sorry. If you can sit up here and say that track is trash for all the double line times, the references, the the flows he switched up, all the attacks he going at Drake. And I understand it's a lot of things that already been touched upon by like some Meek Mills, probably Rick Ross with the ad thing that already been said about Drake. But it was also lines on that track that nobody knew about. Who was that beam dude? That's all I'm trying. And hey, everybody talk about everybody else. I know Drake got Ghost Riders. We never knew who that beam dude was. Hey, Drake, who is beam, man? <laughs> That's the real quest. That's the where's wall, though. Who is beam, man? But nobody talked about the ring, the Tupac ring. I think it was on the news one day. People forgot about it. He spoke on that. The 500000 uh, he had to pay, allegedly had to pay for somebody accusing him of sexual. Nobody talked about that. There's a lot of things also. That's why I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Learn how to appreciate things for what it is. You can say it's straight. You can say it's, you, you ain't really rock with it. But you got to admit, this is a good time in hip-hop. So you being so much of a stand, you missing out, bro. And not only that, bro, you should be happy. I'm, I'm pretty sure Drake thought that shit was fire, bro. I seen him. I'm going to play the video. He came out at a Toronto concert and told the crowd before he walked off, hey, y'all know what I got to do. I'm out. I love you so much. You know what time it is. You know what I got to do. I love you. Hey, he probably thought that shit was fire, so he got motivated off that banger of a diss track. He got to come back even harder. This is exciting times, man. This is super exciting, bro, because... I firmly believe that boy right there, Drake, I don't give a fuck. Listen, Kendrick, hey, before I had my channel, I said this multiple times. Before I end up saying Nas is my favorite rapper of all time, when I got to Nas catalog with this channel, I said Kendrick Lamar is the greatest rapper I ever heard in my life. He was my GOAT until I end up saying Nas. But I also like Drake as well. And when it comes to diss tracks, Except for Pusha T, I ain't gonna lie, Drake lost that one. But other than Pusha T, his track record when it comes to diss tracks, immaculate. Undefeated, except for Pusha T. He undefeated, man. He always come with the business when it comes to diss tracks, man. So y'all stands out there, instead of just being so much in your feelings, bro. First of all, why is you a stand, bro? Hey, listen, if you die today, and this to all the stands out there, if Kanye died today, Eminem died today, Drake died today, Bro, it's just like water to them. Them drinking water, it's nothing. 
they don't even think about you. So imagine that you put all your heart into an artist that don't give a fuck about you, man. So just be like me, bro. Appreciate everything that's going on, man. If Drake drop a euphoria tomorrow, I will tilt my hat. Hey, Drake, you did that, bro. That shit was fire, man. You won round two. But the battle continue to go on, man. That's why it's so exciting, bro. That's going to motivate Kendrick to come back. Like, you see? Just learn how to appreciate things and tilt your hat, bro. Learn how to give respect where respect is due. You cannot like the track, but just appreciate what he just dropped, man. The goal against what y'all call the goal, what y'all feel like the goal is. To go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. This shit been brewing for 10 years to finally step out there, hey, bro, and mention his name on song. Appreciate the time we in, bro, instead of just hating. I'm going to give y'all an example, man. This is a perfect example. I'm going to transfer this to basketball, man. LeBron James. I know all the Jordan stands going to hate this. This for y'all, too. All the stands all over the world, man. Basketball, sports, anywhere. LeBron, what is he? 39, 40 years old, man. I know he just got gentlemen sweet out the playoffs by the Nuggets. But for him to perform at a high level at age 39, 40. Yeah, he 39. About to turn 40. Still averaging 25, 7, to 7 whatever. And still carrying his team to the playoffs to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the defending champions. Even though he got gentlemen sweep. But to still perform at a high level, bro. Just tilt your hat to that man, bro. Because it's never been done before. I don't think it's ever been done in the NBA history at the age he had to perform the way he's performing right now, bro. So, what what was like? What was the slogan back in the day? Witness greatness, bro. Appreciate greatness, man. That's the word for today, man. And nah, I ain't just getting on Drake stands. This is going towards people on my channel. Whenever I review like a Nas nice song, say if I'm react to It Was Written or Illmatic, it will be Jay-Z stands up under that reaction saying Nas is overrated. Bro, this one of the greatest albums of all time. The fuck? Two of the greatest albums of all time. You want to say Nas is overrated or I react to fucking The Blueprint or Reasonable Doubt like I did on my channel. It was some nine stands in my comments talking about Jay-Z is trash. He stole all the biggie lyrics, like every Nas or every other person that hate Jay-Z say. Bro, stop being a fucking fan sometime and appreciate music. You know, you just said that shit was trash. You just missed out on greatness, bro. Great music right there, man. So for you being so much in your ego and riding for your favorite artist, you're going to start devaluing the, uh, what y'all consider the other side or what your favorite artist is beefing with music. You just missed out on great music now. I guarantee it's going to be some Nas stands or even Jay-Z stands missed out on whoever they favorite artist was beefing with music. It's going to be a lot of Jay-Z fans missed out on the greatness of Illmatic. It was written, uh, God's Son. I got to get to the rest of Nas catalog. Even Nas stand, Reasonable Doubt, uh, Blueprint, and all the rest of great Jay-Z songs, albums, period. And this can go back to the Drake stance, even the Kendrick Lamar stance. Hey, Kendrick, I know you said Drake don't got a cut. Hey, Take Care is a classic. And I know it's going to be some real Kendrick Lamar fans that's going to admit that. And Drake fans that's going to admit, hey, Good Kid, Mad City, that was a classic. Damn, that was a classic. But it's a stance that won't allow that shit, man. You just missing out on great music right there, man. Just for being such a fucking fan, a super fan, bro. For a motherfucker that don't give a fuck about you, man. Let that reality kick in for you, man. I know I'm being overly emotional right now, but this shit been brewing on for a long time, bro. And I never really come up on video. I should a lot more now. Like, venting to y'all like this. I really do on my live stream, but I should make more videos like this. Because... Like, I just don't understand y'all mindset, bro. Like, y'all loving a man who don't give a fuck about you. And it's to anybody. Like, the Eminem stands, Kanye, even Kendrick Lamar stands, bro. I love Kendrick, bro. But that's a regular human being to me, bro. He bleed like me, put one leg at a time. They pants like me. You feel me? So learn how to appreciate the time we is in right now, bro. This is the best time in hip-hop and shit. 2018, 2019, bro. I ain't have a time. We ain't had a time like this hip hop in a long time, bro. Cause last year was the most deadest year I ever I ever seen in hip hop history. So I'm glad 
I'm so blessed to have a time like this, bro. Like, I'm, I'll am i be so motivated to make videos. Now, last year, I wasn't really motivated, bro. That's why y'all seeing me slow up on the reactions, the uploads, and all that. Because nobody dropping nothing. Everybody sound the same. That's why y'all see more 90s, early 2000s hip-hop from me. You feel me? Now, I'm diving deep to nowadays. It's shit fire now, bro. This beef have ignited all, I feel like, good music that's coming out, man. So whatever come out this beef, like I said in my videos, hey, I'm all for it, bro. Make hip hop great again, man. Stop being a fucking fan sometimes, man. And just kick your feet up and enjoy the show. That's what they want you to do. And heart, that's what Kendrick and Drake want you to do, man. Appreciate the show, man, while it's going on, man. Kick your feet up and just enjoy life. Just enjoy life, man. Your, your life will be 10 times better if you just even the Beyonce stand. Hey, I gotta talk to y'all too. The Beehive, bro. Listen, stop being a fan. If someone go and get your favorite artist and it's dope, hey, tilt your hat, bro. So peace and love to y'all, man. I'm gonna make these more of these type of videos, bro, because I got a lot to get off my mind, bro. And this shit right here, what I've been seeing in the comments, people in my DMs talking crazy. Oh, you a Kendrick Dick Rider? First of all, I'm not. But fuck it, hey. I gotta get this off my mind, bro. Because y'all gotta really wake up and see reality for what it is, bro. And understand what the fuck you really be doing, bro. You really caring about the artist, don't give a fuck about you, man. So tilt your hat, sit back and relax, enjoy the time of hip hop we in, bro. Cause it's in a great space. Peace and love to y'all, man. It's a great